social media marketing here. And today I'm making this video to show people how to use the new LinkedIn analytics features of your followers, visitors, and demographics that are shown within your LinkedIn business page or company page in order to make sure that you're taking full advantage of the people that are following your page. So let's go ahead and jump into it. For today's example, I'm going to be showing global social media marketing. And you can see this is our company page with our banner and our short description and our followers. But for today's video, we're going to be talking about the analytics feature where you can see that new feature that they've added here for July 2020 in the followers. So just real quickly before we jump into that, I do want to show the other analytics that are available. As you can see, we can see the visitor highlights over a given 30 day period. It will actually show if they're coming from desktop or mobile and it will show the demographics of the people that are visiting our LinkedIn business page. After that, we can kind of plug into the updates and see how our content is performing on our page as well too. This is really good to kind of address your strategy and see what's working and what's not working for the type of content that you're posting, right? We always wanna to try to create a content marketing plan for the different audiences that we're reaching and making sure that we're developing content that is addressing our buyer personas, challenges, opportunities, or their pain points so that we can help them with valuable content to solve their issues. Next thing that we would look at after we've maybe taken a dive into those two features is the new feature, which is why I'm creating this video on follower metrics. So one cool feature that they, they uh, released just recently is they're now actually giving you the total number of followers and they're giving you metrics on your followers. So I can actually see um, on our page when we're generating new followers. But the new feature that they're showing now, as you can see, is it lists all of our current followers added by the recency in which they followed our page. So this is really beneficial. Let's say, for example, you want to pay attention more to what your marketing team is doing for messaging on your LinkedIn company page. You can develop content more around these buyer personas, right? For us at Global Social Media Marketing, we're generally trying to reach people that are business owners so that we can help them with their social media. So you can see if I kind of scroll through this, right, I might be looking for some of those people, co-founder, owner, things like that. And it will actually show me a list of all the people that have followed our page in descending order. So that's really amazing for me to be able to tap into that and know exactly who's following my page. We haven't really been able to do that with a lot of our other social media channels as easily. There's not ability to export this currently, but the other insightful information here is it's really breaking down our demographics for us too. So we can filter by job function, sorority, uh, company size, industry, and location. Um, the other thing that it does is it also does show us other companies to track that are related to our company page. But really, you know, I think that the great benefit of having this new feature from LinkedIn is now, let's say, for example, I want to go to our business development manager and say, hey, um, you know, I'm already connected with these people. And on top of that, they're following our page and they're an owner. That's a great like opportunity for our business development team to kind of reach out to them because we know they already know who who we are. They've already agreed to follow our page. Those are really good opportunities for them to create kind of exploratory conversations with and reach out via LinkedIn messaging. Um, another cool feature that I will show with this analytics that's really beneficial is when you're inviting those people to follow your page. So one thing that they have also updated for LinkedIn recently is when you're going to invite somebody to your page to grow your page, there'll be a section here that says um, admin tools and then invite connections. This actually gives you credits um, where you can invite up to 100 people per month in credits to follow your page. And it's pulling from actually the people that you're connected to via LinkedIn. So this will help grow your page um, and then give you some more insightful information within those followers. Now, the thing about this 100 credits is limited to, to 100 a month unless the person does accept your request that you invite them to follow your page. So if they do follow your page, then actually you get that credit back and now you'll have another extra credit to send out. So my advice for you on growing your page is to invite connections with people that you think that will actually follow your page so that you can get more credits. But once you've maxed out those 100 credits for the month, you will have to wait until the next month. But then the great thing is that you can do after that is you can go back to the followers analytics, which is that new feature I just showed you and see who's actually following your page. Are you getting more of the right audience that you want? Or are you getting people that have nothing to do with people that might need your services or product? 
Um, but these are all great um, recent additions to LinkedIn and ways that your business development team and your marketing team can look and see how is your content performing with your current followers and how can you grow your existing company page with new followers using invite connections. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any comments on how you're using LinkedIn, please leave a comment below in this video. And I hope you've enjoyed this video.